Welcome to a sold-out show here in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. Man, you couldn't fit another fan in here with a crowbar, I'm telling you. There's a whole lot of cheese heads in the house tonight. It sure is. Green Bay knows that they're about to see the greatest superstars in all of sports entertainment. I can't wait to get started. Submission hold locked in. We may see a tap out right here. And even if you can't make your opponent tap out, this will take a lot of fight out of him. That was a textbook reversal. These superstars are showing some great intensity here tonight. And that's what the WWE fans came to see. That's for sure, Taz. And the number one rule here on SmackDown is to send the fans home happy. What a submission maneuver. You must be familiar with this one, Taz. Yeah, I've been on both sides of it, Cole. That's the truth. And let me tell you, it's better to give than receive. I've been looking forward to this match all night long, Cole. So have I. It's certainly been one of the most anticipated matchups in recent weeks. And here's the cover. One. Man, I don't envy that ref. You know, the last place I'd want to be is between these superstars. You can say that again. Talk about hazardous to your health. Great reversal! Thank you, Captain Obvious. I just think it's unfortunate whenever a superstar decides to cheat to win rather than compete fairly. You know, you can show up for the crowd all you want, but all that does is let your opponent rest up. Actually, Taz, I think it's a great display of confidence on the part of this great superstar. Ah, now that's the way you do it. Let your opponent know who the boss is. Or you can just keep posturing and Broke give your break. opponent time to recover. You're not going to hear me say this. Whoa, there goes the ref. Well, might as well chuck the rule book out the window now. And that also means that there's no one to call a pinfall or submission. You got to be careful when you're going up there. Wow, great reversal. There's the cover. One. I've two. seen matches won and lost because of moves like this. And there's the counter, Cole. This is not just a match anymore, Cole. These Why? superstars have got a legitimate beef with each other. You feel like a real jerk when somebody yeah. counters you like that. Three. When I first heard about this match, I wasn't sure what to think. But these superstars are blowing me away right here. Really? As soon as I heard about it, I expected a tremendous matchup. And I haven't been disappointed. Well, I wouldn't say I'm not disappointed. But I'll talk about getting stuck with you as a broadcast partner. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that another time. I think that's a tag. Shoulders down. This could be it. One. Way too early to get a three count.
It's not easy maintaining this type of intensity week after week after week, Cole. Trust me. I don't doubt it, Taz. The WWE superstars don't get an off-season. They compete every week until they're not physically capable of continuing. Oh, would you look at this? Talk about arrogant. It's sickening. Actually, I think it's great. That's not arrogance, that's confidence. And that's what wins matches. What an incredible match we've seen so far. And it ain't over yet, Cole. It sure isn't. I think the superstars could keep going for quite a while longer. What a reversal. Talk about adding insult to injury. And these fans love it. Yeah, well, you know what? He better worry more about the injury and less about the insult until this match is over. This could be three right here. One, two. There's the reversal call. This has been a real rocket bus of a match so far, Cole. It has indeed, but I think this crowd would like to see these superstars pick up the pace a little bit. What are you talking Look out! The referee's been knocked out! And this is where things start getting a little interesting, Cole. Superstars are putting on a clinic in there. Yeah, and not a health clinic. I don't think they'll be the same after this one. What a counter that was. One. The conditions are right for a finishing move. One. Two. I think I've got a Three. pretty good idea who's going to win this match, Cole. I wouldn't be so sure, Tad. If there's one thing we've seen, it's that anything Four. can happen here in the WWE. Five. Nice quick counter. Six. We've seen an excellent match so far, and it's not over yet. Not by a long shot, Cole. And that's a good thing. I don't think we could ever get sick of watching these super... And there's the reversal. Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. Hey, you know what, Cole? If you're going to get on your high horse again... Oh, man, this is just about the last hold you want to find yourself in. I can imagine. Just look at the pressure being applied here. This ain't about winning or losing anymore, Cole. This has become real personal. Well, with the way they've been beating the hell out of each other, I'm not surprised. Here's the pin. One. Not even a two count. Could be a finishing move right here. Nice reversal. your opponent continue to work over the same area of your body. Not if you want to win the match, you can't. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. 
That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. Well, come on. You just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. But what about picking your spot? If you try to execute the badly timed move just because you want to stay on offense, that could have a disastrous result. I'll tell you what, Paul. Let me... Here's the pin. This could be it. One. Two. You know, Cole, the more I watch this match, the more I'm thinking that there's some legitimate personal issues here between these superstars. You might be right, Taz. After all, they spent the better part of the match beating the hell out of each other. It's hard not to take something like that personally. I can't remember the last time I've seen a crowd so pumped up. I know what you mean, partner. These superstars have really brought the fans to life here tonight. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition. It's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to you try to call a match all by yourself. Whoa, that's not good. Not if you want to keep from tapping out at Scott. So, Cole, you got any predictions, uh, you know, who you think's going to win this one? No way. I've seen you embarrass yourself with enough bad guesses that I'm not going to risk doing the same. I love it. Talk about rubbing your opponent's face in it. Yes, but this might not be the smartest course of action. This match is far from over. These superstars are beating the living hell out of each other, and these fans are eating it up. It's what they came to see, Taz, and these superstars are making sure they don't go home disappointed. I certainly don't envy the referee in this match. No kidding. No matter what call you make, you're going to get on the bad side of at least one superstar. And that's about the last place you want to be if you're not a superstar yourself. Trust me, I know. tell you, all the WWE superstars are legit tough guys, but these superstars are really raising a bar here tonight. They sure are, Taz. We're seeing some great intensity here tonight. And that's the name of the game, Cole, intensity. You gotta stay on your opponent. Look at this, Taz. This could be it. Good night, Irene. Nobody sticks around long after taking a finisher like that. That tag shows some impressive teamwork. This is a big risk. Good pay off. How much longer are these superstars going to be able to keep it up? Your guess is as good as mine, Taz. They're certainly not going easy on each other, that's for sure. I'll tell you, anyone who thinks this business is a piece of cake, they should get in the ring with these superstars. I don't think anyone would last too long against them. 
These are trained WWE professionals. And here we go with the submission hold. This could be a pivotal moment in this match. It sure could. There's a lot of pressure being applied in that hold, Cole. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Hey, Cole, you know what? Try to restrain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this bad boy right down the middle. Top rope moves can win or lose you the match. Look at this. Could it be? You're damn right it is, Cole. And that's a heck of a finisher right there. I don't know if this is such a good move. This could be disastrous. Man, you talk about superstars and we ain't got an ounce of quit in them, huh? We're looking at them right here. And that's a potentially dangerous mindset to be in. If you're too proud to realize that you're in trouble, you might wind up risking your career for a single match. Look, Cole, this ain't ballet. You gotta go in there every single match and be willing to do whatever it takes. You'd know that if you actually stepped in between the ropes. I don't have to have been in a match to realize that jeopardizing my future for the sake of one match, is incredibly short-sighted. Cole, I swear, I'm gonna replace you with someone who actually knows what they're talking about. Maybe Kalina. He might be a little tough to understand sometimes, but at least he knows what it's like to wrestle a match. And I think these superstars are gonna keep it up until they've got literally nothing left to give. And that's the attitude you have to take to win. You know that your opponent isn't going to hold anything back, and you can't afford to either. I'd love to know when you're coming up with this stuff, Paul. But it's sure not for personal experience, I know that. Man, this match is so good. It's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Cole. Yeah, thanks a lot, Jazz. You know, you're not always my number one choice for a podcast partner, either. You know what you should do, Girl Pants? You should team up with Jerry Lawler. Then it could be the king and queen on commentary. Real funny, Taz. You know, that would almost be worth not having to work with a joker like you all the time. If you ever wanted just how much punishment a human body could take, I think you're going to get an answer tonight. You might be right, Taz. It doesn't look like these superstars are going to go easy on each other. That's not what they're getting paid for, Cole. And besides, they got too much pride to get less than 100% in there. I tell you, I've got no patience for a superstar who pulls that kind of thing. Quit playing possum and wrestle. Why? Be kidding me. That was nowhere near three. Looks like they might be taking this match down a notch here, Cole. The pace of the match may have slowed, but the intensity of these superstars certainly hasn't. You can say that again. Waiting for your opponent to make a move or give an opening can be... I've been locked in this hole before, and it hurts even worse than it looks. I can't even imagine the amount of pain that this hole must inflict on any superstar who winds up in it. Oh. I don't even know how he can still stand after taking so much physical abuse. I don't think this is going to last much longer. The WWE superstars never fail to amaze the fans. And that's a good thing, Cole. I don't ever want to think about where we'd be if they didn't. Well, we wouldn't be sitting here calling this match, that's for sure. Looks to me as this can go down in the books as an instant classic.
I think just about every match has that potential task. This is the WWE after all. When you see this level of competition, Cole, there is no doubt that SmackDown's just head and shoulders better than Raw. I couldn't agree more, Taz. Raw has some incredible superstars, no question about it. But they just can't compete with SmackDown's finest. Come on, Cole. I know you're just trying to be diplomatic, but you can't seriously sit there and say that there's anyone on the Raw roster you'd want to have here on SmackDown. No, I'm 100% serious, Taz. Can you imagine having Triple H or Batista or Chris Jericho on Friday nights? That could take SmackDown to the next level. You're not going to see action like this anywhere except SmackDown, Cole. You'll get no argument from me, Taz. SmackDown is the dominant brand in all of sports entertainment. <laughs> feel bad for JR and King, Cole. When's the last time you think they saw a match this good? I couldn't tell you, Taz. I don't know if they've ever had anything this good on Raw. Me neither. Because I guess that just makes sense. I mean, after all, SmackDown is the number one brand in all of sports entertainment. And that's one of the few things we completely agree on, partner. It doesn't get any bigger or better than SmackDown. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut your yap for a few seconds, and I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have disturbed you. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Nothing costs you a match quicker than overconfidence. What are you talking about? I see a dominant superstar who's rallying this capacity crowd behind him. Look at this, Cole. Look at this. Oh, my God. There's a reason that's called a finishing move. The match usually doesn't go much longer. They made the tag. I think we know which way this one's going to go, Cole. Actually, Taz, from my perspective, I think it could go either way. And what perspective would that be exactly? The perspective of somebody who has a neck that resembles a stack of dimes? match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off them. It's not a pretty sight. This one could still go either way, Cole. It sure could. It's not over until the referee calls for the bell. What a deadly submission hold this is. We might see a tap out right here. You wouldn't surprise me one bit. The longer you stay in this, the more risk you have for serious injury.
These superstars are pounding the heck out of each other. How much longer can they keep this up? I don't know, Taz, but you can bet that it's going to get a lot worse before it's over. successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it Why? always ends the match. You sound Dude. like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked in the Taz mission, that was it. End of story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. And injured superstars like a wounded animal. It's survival of the fittest. And that also means that if you're not at 100%, you've got to be able to hide it from your opponent. You got that right, Cole. This business is as psychological as it is physical. You can't let your opponent think they're easy pickings. Well, I wouldn't consider any of these superstars to be easy pickings, no matter how beaten up they get. Here it comes, look out! Oh man, many a superstar has fallen prey to that finishing maneuver! Certainly aren't going easy on each other tonight. The match is over. That's all she wrote.